Mufti Abu Laith. Mufti Abu Laith. Hadith. The practice of Islam has not reached us through Hadith. It's reached us through the living tradition. So, what you just saw was Mufti Abu Laith say that the Islamic practices are living traditions. And when I came across this video, I thought, finally, a Muslim saying the truth, knowing the truth. Now, I'm not saying Mufti Abu Laith was saying this truth just now, because that video that I got that clip from is two years old. But when I was watching the video and he was saying this, I felt a relief because too many Muslims do not know that the Islamic practices that they practice are not learned by going to the Hadith. The Islamic practices are living traditions. And these Islamic practices are learned by Muslims teaching each other. And I made a video about this a few weeks ago where I was saying that Muslims learn how to pray from other Muslims. And no Muslim learns how to pray by going to the Hadith. Why? Because how Muslims pray is a living tradition. And Mufti Abu Layth says the same thing. Listen. Now, this is where people misunderstand this. They think that Islam reached us through Hadith. It didn't. They think that uh, Salah, how to pray Salah reached us because it's said in Abu Dawood or in Tirmidhi. No, that's not true. Abu Dawood comes over 200 years, about 200 years after the Prophet, as does Imam Bukhari. For 200 years were people not praying. You see, Islam was taught from parent to child and in community. And this is how it got transmitted by the living tradition. And so this is how we learn things like Salah. So Muslims know this. But it doesn't seem like too many Muslims know this on YouTube. And many Muslims get all riled up and get all angry and call you names when you say that the Muslim prayer is not learned by Muslims by going to the Hadith, that Muslims learn the Muslim prayer from the community. So this is how it's always been. So the Muslim prayer existed before the Hadith. And Prophet Muhammad taught the community how to pray the Muslim prayer. And Muslims have been teaching each other how to pray the Muslim prayer since the time of Prophet Muhammad, all the way down to how we teach each other how to pray the Muslim prayer today. And that's just one example of an Islamic practice that is a living tradition. And I almost forgot. The reason I said Mufti Abu Layth slowly is because I need YouTube to know that this video is about Mufti Abu Layth and that this video is about Hadith and that this video is about Islamic practices being living traditions. And I need this video to get traction. So share it, subscribe, and peace. Oh, and dislike or like. It doesn't matter. It gets it traction.